They may be biblical figures, but they've never been to the Holy Land before. Nearly four centuries after they were painted, Jacob and his 12 sons have arrived at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. These 12 life-size paintings by the Spanish Golden Age master, Francisco de Zurbaran, are on display in Israel for the first time. Zurbaran is famous for religious paintings, depicting saints, nuns and martyrs. This series, which he painted between 1640 and 1645 in Seville, was originally supposed to travel to South America, but never made it ending up mysteriously in England. In the 16th and 17th century, Spanish missionaries believed South America's indigenous population were descendants of ancient Israel. There was the feeling that the lost tribes of Israel, the 10 lost tribes, are there, the pagans, the Indians they met. And the ideas of the Christian church was, let's bring those children, those lost lambs, Let's bring them back to the fold. Inspired by the book of Genesis, Zurbaran's paintings show the patriarch Jacob bestowing blessings on his sons. Blessings which prophesied each of the tribe's destinies. Judah, who would establish the royal dynasty, is portrayed in magnificent clothing, holding a scepter and wearing a crown. Levi, Joseph, Dan or Asher. Each patriarch is meticulously painted, carrying symbols of their unique status. Until this year, Zurbaran's famous series had never been on display outside of Auckland Castle in England. I think it both symbolizes the recognition of the importance of Spanish culture, you know, from, from different, different uh, layers, I'd say, different levels, uh, to the Israel Museum and the connection, of course, of Spain and uh, the Jewish people and specifically Israel. The exhibition was made possible by important donors, including the Fundación Hispano Judía, or Hispanic Jewish Foundation in Spain. And our goal is to bring together the Spanish-speaking worlds and the Jewish world. So we have a very important project, uh, which is going to be a world-class museum, Jewish museum in Madrid. From Spain to England and finally to Israel, a rare opportunity to discover a Spanish master. The exhibition at the Israel Museum will remain open until October. From the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, Maya Margit for the Media Line.